What's up, what's up, YouTube? I know I've been away for a minute, but your boy has been busy the last three weeks, man. So, about to hit y'all with some more videos. And today, I'm just going to talk about uh, what I did to get 26 inch wheels on my 2015 Charger. Um, for the folks that know, a lot of people already know about this. You know, people have been lifting cars, putting wheels on cars for a decade, over a decade now. So, um, pretty much, huh, the easy thing to say is, it's just a spindle lift. But a lot of people don't really know, you know what all that details or what all that involves. So, I'm going to show you exactly what it is. <clears throat> and I'm going to let you see it. And, um, yeah, so you can just get an idea for yourself. You know, what is done and uh, what actually happens to your car when you do that. So, um, as you can see, I have my factory wheels on. And, of course, I didn't go out and change a knuckle. I had took my wheels off to get painted. And so I just slapped my factory wheels back on. It's a 245, 45, 20s. And I can get in here. Hopefully the camera can see this. But right here is the bolt for the ball joint. This is the top of the spindle that I'm touching. And I really hope you guys can see it. But... <clears throat> If you look at a factory car, this ball joint bolt is actually about right here on top of the tire. So with a spindle lift, you're actually cutting the spindle and adding in an extension to give you the clearance uh, to clear a larger wheel. Now, I'm only on 26s, so that is all I needed to fit these wheels on my car. And as you can see, my car is not cut at all, front or back. I have no cut. I have my plastic fender liner in and all of that so this is all that I have I have a 2015 RT charger and all I have is I want to say it's a two inch uh, spindle extension and if you look my car sits I'm pretty sure this is stock height the spindle does not lift your car all it does is give you the clearance to fit a larger wheel before it hits the boat a lot of people cut that knuckle a lot of people cut the boat shave it down I'm not a fan of that it's a ball joint it has a lot of pressure on it so the proper way to do it is to extend the spindle and you know be on with life so like I say this is my car and you can see that what is that maybe maybe two inches that's about two inches of fender gap between the top of the factory tire and the fender and I'm pretty sure that is really close to stock height so Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take this wheel off, and then I'm going to let y'all see exactly what it looks like. You're not going to be able to see much. It looks pretty factory, but I'm going to let you see exactly what it looks like, and yeah, we'll go from there. So, let me jack the car up and get the wheel off. Peace. Alright, so I'm going to come back real quick. Um, I got the car lifted up on the jack now, and I just want you to see exactly what I mean. So, you can see that, you know, it's about three and a half inches of clearance there now maybe about three inches so that's the amount of clearance that's required to fit a 26 inch wheel on your car and I have 4G autos so my wheel was built exactly to my car but um yeah so that's what you need and like I say you can see that my fender liner is in and intact um, right there you can see a small hole from a little bit of rubbing on the fender liner but like I say I'd rather keep mine in I don't like how it looks when you can see through the front bumper and all that open space so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the wheel off and let you look more at the spindle all right so got the wheel off now and this is the spindle extension so if you look from here it looks pretty much factory but actually I think what they did is actually cut it in half like right in here probably I think they cut it in half if you think just cut this in half and separate the two pieces add you a extension piece back in there and then weld the two halves back and then you have effectively a two inch spindle extension I literally think it starts here and stops there so it's not a lot but that's how mine looks um, mine was actually done from a car show customs in Tallahassee Florida um, it's my homeboy you know he's uh, done uh, paint work on my Crown Vic and so yeah but uh, the reason I went to him is because he makes his spindle look pretty much factory. He puts the groove back in there and all. So you can kind of see a slight wave. 
But the spindles that I hate, I hate when just how they look. I mean, function is function. That's one thing. But um, I just like these because they look factory. I can take my car into a dealership and they probably would never notice that this thing has been extended as long as I'm on my factory wheels. But a lot of shops, you know, when they extend it, they add, you know, it's just for support, but they add two slabs of metal on each side uh, to help support the weld. But um, now I'm not a welder, but I'm pretty sure this is safe enough. You know, it's really on how good is your weld. I'm not sure how much support that the sides add if the weld in the middle was bad. But Seth only welds the middle, cleans it all up, makes it look nice and factory, and that's it. So, and also, here, you see that? None of those knuckles and all that stuff. I'm not one that knocks the knuckle crew. Hey, I get it. You know, you can, you know, pop a knuckle in and increase the spring rate, pick it up a little bit. You know, hey, for, what the, $9 at AutoZone or something? So, I get it. I, I, I feel them. So, but uh, I don't have that on my car. It's not needed. Only thing that's needed to fit 26s on my, I'm going to say my because people are going to be, oh, well, I had to do this, this, and this. On my 2015 Charger for 26s, all I had to do was get a 2-inch spindle extension, and that's it. There's nothing done to the back. There's no additional modifications done to the front. And, like I said, as you can see, my plastic wheel well is in and actually see this hole right here I actually you can see a, a you can see some rub marks on here but I actually made this hole because when I first got the car uh, when I first got my wheels on I was trying to heat and move this back some but actually that tiny bit of rubbing you know it's not bad so I, you can see a rub spot here and you see the rub spot here but yeah so like I say that is all that's needed to put 26's on this car is a spindle extension. No knuckles, no boosters. But you have to run a 275, 25, 26. You can't run the 255, 30 because that tire is taller. But um anyway, yeah, I just want to shoot y'all that video and uh you know show you what I did. Um once I put the wheel on I will show you another quick clip of you know how far my boat is but it's literally just like factory. So with that said um just wait for the next clip. I'll show you the 26 installed, and uh, that'll be it. So, peace out. And now, I hope you can see this again, but I can almost, I can't even quite get my finger under the distance between the bottom of the ball joint and the top of the tire. So, that's what you want. That's just like factory. So, I just want to give you an update on that's how it looks.